All right, guys, today is the day I can finally quit. And what I mean is I've been collecting knives for a very long time, but this is finally my first full custom blade. It is over $1,000. It is crazy. It is awesome. And this can finally complete my collection. Now, if you really believe that, you obviously don't know me and or my channel, but this is truthfully a custom. It is a Gavco custom. And this right here is a Nurse XL. And it is what he calls a hunchback because of its handle design. And today we're gonna be going over what this knife is in depth and also talking about why I chose this knife as my first custom and why I think it's worth a lot of money. Now, undoubtedly, it goes without saying that when we get into the world of full customs, it, there's more there's there's more of a story, there's more of a reason behind getting a knife because there's definitely the law of diminishing gains. And if you look at something like this $120 um, Hogue Deca in MagnaCut, this knife is obviously a full production knife. It's just a mass produced blade and it is good for what it's supposed to be. And it's around the same size as this $1,000 full custom, but there's a lot of differences between the two that make this more expensive. And while performance or from a sheer performance or maybe spec sheets side of thing or things this deca is every bit as good as this nurse there's definitely a lot more to the story so first off let's talk about this guy so like i said this is an xl um this is an xl gavco or gavco knives xl nurse and what that essentially means is this is a gavco so for those who don't know gavco first go learn about him because I think he's a really cool knife maker and this is his nurse style. Now, part of the reason why I wanted to get this knife is I'm a really big fan of Gavco. I haven't necessarily come out on the channel and said it, but undoubtedly, um, actually when I did my podcast, I mentioned it briefly, but when I was first getting into knives um, as like a teen, I one of the first people obviously turning to YouTube for that, one of the first people I found was Gavco or Michael Gavick. And he was making at the time, you know, larger knives, things like machetes or machetes, as he would say, more like, um, he obviously has a very thick accent, so I can't quite uh, mimic it mimic it but he was really cool and as far as youtubers like making knives he showed off a lot of process and like how to make kydex sheaths and while i never really got into making knives he certainly was an inspiration for me to kind of like get into the knife world what he did was cool and that's part of the reason why i really like the gavco nurse is michael is really cool and just overall an awesome dude and so I really like to support him for that reason. Now secondly the reason why I chose the nurse and I knew I was going to get a nurse and have for a while like so this is specifically the custom knife that I wanted um, and so the reason why is for those who don't exactly know I won't go into too much detail but outside of YouTube um, I actually work in healthcare. And so the nurse was made at the time when COVID was kind of starting as essentially a, a, an appreciation knife for the medical staff, the healthcare team members, the nurses most specifically that, you know, helped out and really did their part. And however you feel about COVID, whether you think it's a, you know, planned epidemic or something like that, undoubtedly there were a lot of healthcare workers, myself included, that worked very hard through that time and went through a lot of, you know, just a lot of, uh, a lot of stressful situations, of course, like a lot of short staff issues and stuff like that. But uh, ultimately, like I said, the nurse is a blade that really kind of, really kind of speaks to me because ironically of all the knife industry, this is really the only knife that was kind of made, especially for those people or to be that appreciation for the healthcare community. So that's why I wanted the nurse. It spoke to me more as a personal thing than anything else. So that's why I chose a Gavco nurse. And this one in particular stood out to me because it is all purple. And for those who don't know, aside from the blade, I should say, um, for those who don't know, one of my favorite colors is purple. And so when I saw this blade was all purple and blue, especially that uh, Timascus clip, and it just looked super beautiful. I mean, this blade is very, very sculpted. Everything on it is just super sculpted. Even the blade itself has, you know, like a bit of micro sculpting to it. Um, like I said, the clip has sculpting to it. 
Just everything on this knife, super custom. This isn't necessarily like a plain Jane kind of knife. It's more along the lines of like a full dress. So it's just really nice. A lot of time and effort was put into this blade and it's very, very much custom. So really a beautiful looking knife. But yeah, so ultimately that's kind of the story behind this knife and why I chose it. It is a knife that once again, I thought really stood out to me, was really um, up my alley as far as colorway, but also was a Gavco, which I like, and was a nurse, which is what I wanted. So that kind of explains the backstory to this pretty expensive knife. Now, like I was saying, you know, undoubtedly, um, this is a full production knife, this Ho Deca, and it's about the same size as my XL Nurse here. And the XL Nurse is quite literally like 10 times the price. But ultimately, you do have to look at custom knives from a different angle because while the materials themselves, like this is Nitro V, and it's actually running a pretty high Rockwell hardness. So this is properly heat treated Nitro V. But when you look at it, you know, Nitro V versus Magna Cut, the Magna Cut might edge out the Nitro V. That's a strong maybe, but when you do look at it, um, the reason why customs are so expensive is partly the kind of story that I just told you about this being a nurse and a Gavco, but also the amount of hand finishing that is done on this uh, Gavco. Like when you look at it, this uh, this Deca, you know, uses polymer, basically plastic handles that are injection molded, nothing really fancy to it, doesn't even have steel liners, whereas on this full custom, we're talking about, you know, like handmade sculpting to the handle, to the Timascus, and to all the little touches on the blade. I mean, even when we look at the inside, of this knife, like you can see here, that there is still sculpting work done on the inside, on the inside of this hole, on both the up or the top and bottom side. It's super hard in this lighting to see, but trust me, there is sculpting up on the top side of this guy. But yeah, so like you have all of the sculpting, all this hand work, of course you have this hand bevel or hand laid bevel, and it is not the most consistent, it's a little shallow here, but it is ultimately you know hand done made by hand and is pretty darn sharp so you know you have to talk about the amount of time that one person spent making this knife as opposed to this was made by a whole bunch of machines very quickly the amount of man hours put into this deca is probably close to zero the amount of hours put into this is a lot more than that. I can't necessarily say it's hundreds of hours, probably closer to like 20 to 40 hours put into this blade. But at the same time too, that's a lot more than that DECA or really any production knife for that matter. Like it just taking any of them, you know, even this really nice ZT0462 or 562, don't know why I keep calling it a 462, but you know, there's a lot less hand finishing done with these production blades as opposed to a full custom. So once again, from a paper standpoint or from like a spec sheet kind of standpoint, the, um, the nurse doesn't make any sense of why it's so expensive, but hopefully I can kind of break down, you know, all of the custom time and man hours that it takes to make one of these blades full custom. And that is ultimately why they end up going for so much. In addition to another part of it is just that you have a whole bunch of people, myself included, that like Gavco and are willing to spend the amount of money. And so it does make their price more expensive. They are harder to get because there are people out there that want to spend that much money on that knife to have it in their collection. So I'm not going to necessarily say that Gavco is the most desired or most sought after uh, knife maker because I don't think he is, but for those who like him, they really like him. And so anyways, that is my Gavco Nurse XL and uh, hopefully enjoyed kind of hearing about it, looking at it, seeing it. I mean, this thing is just so freaking gorgeous. I really love it. I love the execution, especially on this rear por portion right here, where like the blade is just right in line. In fact, the tip is like just right there. Like if you reach in there, you can uh, feel that tip, but it is just below the surface there. The execution is so nice. And I also love the way that this clip is just, I know I've said sculpted a lot in this video, but really like this clip is just sculpted into the handle. Like so many times you just look at a knife and um, 
like even this strider here, you know, the handle or the clip is just the, kind of there. It's just sitting there on the top of the uh, slab of titanium. But this, it really is like blended into the handle itself. So I don't know. I really like it. Follows the lines beautifully and it's all hand done. So it's really cool. So anyways, guys, that is what I have to say about the Nurse. It is really cool. Um, I really like it. It's a knife that I've wanted in my collection for a long time, so it is an awesome knife, or this is a knife um, knife style that I've wanted in the collection for a long time, so I'm very happy to finally have one in my collection in the stables to talk about and go over. So anyways, guys, that is all about the Gavco Nurse XL. Hopefully you enjoy it, and you're going to see it in a lot more videos. As always, guys, God bless, and I'm out.